If this video is really choppy, it's because one of my neighbors has decided that today is the day that they're gonna cut, I don't know, stone on a saw in their garage, and it's just... Mm. Geeks, happy Tuesday. So a little while ago, I reread the entire series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket because the TV show was coming out and I was like, you know what? I need to be able to remember like who's who and what happened. And then that sparked a new urge to suddenly reread like half the series that I own. And over the last maybe two months, I have been rereading the entire Soul Screamer series by Rachel Vincent. I read the first three like two years ago and then I was like, you know what? I want the whole thing on my shelf. So I went to thrift books, ordered the rest of them, and then spent three weeks, four weeks just consecutively reading them all. It was really nice to go back and reread them because they're just so trashy and so wonderful, but I love them all and now I have the whole thing on my shelf and I can say that I did it. Then that raised the question of what series am I gonna reread next? There's so many options. Oh, there goes that saw. Now I'm not gonna hold them all up because some of these series are pretty long, but one of the one I do want to reread is the Percy Jackson series and the Heroes of Olympus, both by Rick Riordan. Five books each, I just miss having read the whole story. I can only remember what happens in bits and pieces and like, I think in that book this happens, and I think in that book this person dies, no spoilers. But I really wanna remember the feeling of having read the whole thing and catching up with the characters and watching them grow and then being like, oh yeah, I remember when that god used to do that and when this person used to be that young and this person is now a hero and just, ah, uh, all the feels. I also want to reread the Six of Crows duology by Leigh Bardugo because we did have Six of Crows as our book club. So I didn't reread it, but I did skim through it again, and I just caught myself reading parts of it that I completely forgot happened, that I completely loved, and then there are parts of Koga came in that I definitely want to read again because I think I just skimmed over them because it was so exciting and so much stuff was going down that I can't remember small details, and I really, really want to remember every detail from this series. Speaking of Six of Crows, I also really want to reread the Shadow and Bone series by Leigh Bardugo. Technically, Six of Crows happens after the events of Shadow and Bone, and honestly, I can't remember anything that happened in these books. I'm like, this one has a fish, evil fish in it. This one has a deer. I'm not, yeah. The world that she creates in here is so incredible. And I just remember the main character cleaving down mountains with light power. And then the Darkling, of course, is one of my favorite villains. And I remember more about the villain than I do about the main character. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Maybe it is. Good writing? Not sure. I probably should remember more about Alina. That is her name, right? Oh dear. That is a classic word nerdian series. I really, really want to reread The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. I've been talking to a lot of people at work about it lately, and it just makes me remember all the stuff that I loved, like 621. Makes me remember Adam's struggle, and I really want to read about Ronan's dreamscapes again, and I really want to remember all the sassy things that Blue says, and all of the horrible rich boy fashion that Gansey wears. The writing in this is just so beautiful, and it's had such an impression on me that I really want to reread it again and see if I can pick up on any of those beautiful writer skills. <laughs> Maybe absorb them through osmosis. And then a series that I can't even start to reread because I lent the first one to a friend is Lenny Taylor's Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. After reading Strange the Dreamer and just having a meltdown over how fantastically wonderful that book is and is written, I just feel like I want to return to some classic Lenny Taylor and I really want to reread these again. Uh, Days of Blood and Starlight was probably one of the best sequels I have ever read in any series ever and I want to reread this one in particular again. But I can't just do that because I have to remember who everyone is and all the subtle micro tensions that happened in the first one. So there are some series that I really want to reread. Please let me know down below in the comments which ones that I should start first because I have such a problem because I'm like I have so many new books that I want to read but then I have so many old books that I really want to read too just for nostalgia's sake. Tune in at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube for our live chat. Make sure to bring some tea and I will see you all there.